Hi, my name is uh, Felipe Osario, and welcome to Second Earth News. This is our very first episode, and we wanted to talk a little bit about politics. Specifically, I want to talk to you about the media spin, the established media spin that has been happening with uh, Bernie Sanders versus Hillary Clinton. Okay, so uh, I was reading uh, an opinion piece today uh, called Enough with Bernie Sanders, written by uh, Steven Stromberg. Uh, I got to be honest with you, I was a little shocked by uh, the article. Um, for somebody who poses himself as a, as a good writer in, uh, or intellectual person, uh, some of the arguments put forth in this article I found absolutely baffling. Uh, for example, he writes, Sanders does not deserve a movement, and his losing campaign does not deserve unusual deference and concessions. Let's think about that. Sanders does not deserve a movement. So this writer, uh, standing behind his desk, uh, typing away in his little computer, can determine for the rest of the United States of America whether this candidate that has elicited all this energy, all this momentum, all this sweat and tears from the people who are going out and campaigning for him and trying to put out the word that everything that all those people put forth, that that candidate does not deserve it because what this writer just claims so? Just claims it? No, he doesn't deserve it. Does it, Am I crazy or is, does this seem crazy to anybody else? How could you possibly say that an individual who has enlisted an unprecedented movement in the United States of America doesn't deserve it? He just doesn't deserve it. You know, I think what Stephen is forgetting to mention here, or I should call Mr. Stromberg, just out of respect, Mr. Stromberg, what you're forgetting to mention here is that individuals do not create momentum. In fact, Bernie Sanders himself said it. Here. What are the truths? All right, let's talk about it. For a start, no, 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 that is exactly not the truth. The truth is you, not me. Any person here thinks that I'm coming to you as some kind of savior, that I'm going to do it all, all myself, you're wrong. No president, not Bernie Sanders or anybody else, can do it alone. We don't need a savior. We need a political movement. So while Bernie Sanders is uh, saying, no, I'm not really your savior, it's actually about the people, what are the people saying? Let's make it go! insane and start again with a new standard we all deserve a shelter the bottom line should be humans and based upon benevolence Sam. No, Sam. let's make it rain let's make it rain and so the point that i'm trying to make is that it's not about bernie sanders being a savior it's not about the individuals. It is the people who have responded to his message. It is the people who have gone out to his campaigns, the ones who have taken the times off work to go and see him personally in their rallies. Those are the people that are enlisting the movement. It's not Bernie Sanders. It's not the individual. It's the people. So to say that Bernie Sanders does not deserve this uh, movement, it's basically uh, delegitimizing the entire uh, voting constituency of America who decided to go progressive this year. So, way to go. To be honest with you, I question whether Mr. Stromberg is envious of uh, Bernie. I mean, I would be envious too. I mean, it's kind of humiliating for Hillary Clinton uh, given how much uh, support she's getting compared to Bernie Sanders when she's supposed to be the presumptive nominee. I mean, did you see what happened to the rally in East LA? Here, I'll show you.
Mr. Stromberg says here that, uh, quote, Sanders' path to nomination is essentially non-existent. I mean, Hillary Clinton just got this report from the Inspector General that essentially is putting out that she broke the rules. And, and it's not just that she broke the rules, she actually lied to the people about the concept that she broke the rules. She kept saying, no, 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 this has been done before. I had a secret email. Everybody else has a secret email. Okay, first of all, the previous Secretary of States did not, okay, yes, they had their own email accounts, but they didn't have their own servers. They didn't have somebody go to, your ha to their house and build entire server just for themselves. That is where the issue is. And the laws did change for Secretary of State and Secretary of State Clinton is actually being nominated to potentially be the president. The president. None of those other Secretary of States decided to try to become the president. So yes, this should be looked with scrutiny. This email is a big issue. This email could create an FBI indictment in which she then becomes a possible criminal trying to get the position of the United States of America. If the superdelegates do not care about this, then I don't know what the superdelegates are doing there. I don't know what their jobs are. I understand that like 400 or 500 of them already chose you know, Hillary Clinton before Bernie Sanders even had an election, but uh, it doesn't mean that they can't change their minds. It doesn't mean that when they look at the polls and they see that Bernie Sanders is out beating Hillary Clinton against Trump in nearly every single poll that's come out, it doesn't mean that they're not gonna pay attention. And if by miracle, Bernie Sanders wins 19 out of the last 25 primaries, meaning he takes the next six primaries and, and walks into that, to that uh, convention with less than 100 delegate math, do you really think that the American people are going to want to vote Hillary Clinton to be the one who goes against Trump? I don't think so.